So when a, a new GoPro camera comes out and you have exactly one day to make a video with it, you call Red Bull. Like my jersey? I look like a sponsored rider. This is not sponsored by Liquid Death. This is not sponsored by Thor. It's not sponsored by Red Bull. It's not sponsored by KTM. It's not sponsored by James Coffee. It's not sponsored by GoPro. Full disclosure, however, GoPro did send me the new Hero 10 for free to review so that you know that. They also sent this big, big speedboat. <laughs> so, funny story, this camera came today. The day that you're seeing me record this, it came today. I had one day to basically figure out what to shoot, where to shoot, who to shoot with, then go shoot it all, then come home and edit everything and get the video done in less than 24 hours. So, I did not have time to ride this precious speedboat. I think Maddie did. Um, maybe Maddie and I will go race them together. If you think we should race our speedboats, let me know in the comments below. You might be wondering, Pete, where did you get that tasty, sponsored looking pro rider? You ride for Red Bull? Do you ride for KTM? No, I. in another life I do. But my friend Cole Thompson, he does. And that dude rips. <laughs> So this is a KTM 450 factory edition. Some Renthal handlebars here, the WP forks, the FMF pipe here. We have W wheels, the slogan of KTM is ready to race and that's what we basically do. So what you're telling me is that it rips. It rips, man. It is, it will, it will do backflips for you. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for, can you actually do backflips? I can't do backflips, Oh, I was gonna man. say, like, I don't know if no. I feel good about you doing it. That scares me. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm not the backflip type of guy, but I can do some whips, we can do some big jumps, and uh, maybe even a few transfers. So we'll Sick. see. You ready for this? Hopefully it goes better than last time. <laughs> I thought that was me. <laughs> no, it was not you. <laughs> yeah, this is like what FPV stuff was designed for, though. Yeah. For sure, I'm so pumped. So, it is no surprise to anybody watching this video that Peter McKinnon plus GoPro equals no bueno. I have never really liked GoPro, and I'm just gonna come out and say that. They know that, I know that, you know that. I feel like the cameras never really capture what I feel like they should be capturing, or they're never as good as I want them to be, or think they are, or see them in the previews. That has changed with the within the last two versions. I would say like around the Hero 8, it started to kind of shift for me. Hero 9, I actually really liked, and I used it a lot. And the Hero 10, so far from the day, keep that in mind, from the one day I've used it, 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 it works really, really okay. good. And I'll take off and then hopefully the timing just works out then. then just not go it. far deep in, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna wheelie the whole thing. I'm here for it. That's what the cool kids say, right? We had it on the FPV drone. 
typically when you're flying an FPV drone with a GoPro on it, you're gonna use some kind of software like Real Steady to just further stabilize that footage. The Hero 10 footage, straight out of the camera. It doesn't need any post stabilization. It, it's so good, just in camera, raw, straight onto the timeline. It looks phenomenal. How's the track? Dude, it's mint. I can't believe how good the dirt is. We got a little rain last night, a couple tornado warnings. Just watered it all for us. Just another day? Just another day. Take a look, I mounted this camera to the front fender of the bike. Now that fender you can see in the shot just bouncing up and down, it's super, super light. But notice everything else. Notice Cole, the entire environment around him is not moving at all. So it just shows you how much that camera is actually compensating for the amount of shake that is literally happening in real time. That bike is bouncing up and down, that fender is flying all over the place and the background is not moving at all. The stabilization in GoPros in 2021, as of like the Hero 9, going back a few models, but especially now, now with the 10 is so good. I slid this back on for the video. I got, I've already taken it off and labeled everything. Okay. Oh, that's the little kit. That is my action cam kit. Look how tasty that all looks. It was the best day for GoPro. The clouds were just mint. Yes, that sky is real. Oh, what a great day for filming. Fantastic. You know when you're outside and the conditions are prime and you're just like beyond stoked that you're a photographer and cinematographer? That's gonna look ridiculous. Mm, pumped. Now, one of the things that GoPro's included with the package that, that I was actually pretty psyched with is this plastic little card here. As like recommended best settings. I don't, I love that. That's, that's a Google search. Come on, you've done it. You've done it. All like the pro tune settings for the color profiles, what they think you should keep, like the max ISO, minimum ISO. I think that'll help a lot of people and save a lot of Google searches. So GoPro, great job on doing that. All right, taking a look at the body, it looks like every GoPro you've pretty much ever seen. That screen on the front might even be bigger. I think it's new and improved. The text, this is the first thing you'll notice. The text is blue. It's not white, and I love that. It's a completely insignificant update. It does nothing, but it looks great, and it's like a welcome change. I feel like, oh, the GoPro finally looks a little different. Makes me happy. Same things you come to expect. Built-in mount down here. This thing's waterproof. Do we trust this? Super cool feature on GoPro. If you've never seen this, it'll blow your mind. I'm gonna fire it up so I can show you, is like the tilt limit has now been increased to 45 degrees. So when you have the horizon lock on, like, can you see, like, look at the back of the screen there. Like, that's that's how far you can tilt this without it actually moving the horizon. Like, look at that. You can go that far. That is, that's just fantastic. So combo that with stabilization, the wide lens, like, these are just getting better and better and better. Now, speaking of better, what are some of the new options? You can shoot 240 frames per second at 2.7K. Like, look what that looks like. Able to just hold the camera and just whip pan as Cole rips around that berm. What if I told you you can do 5.7K, 60? <laughs> the resolution modes are just, they're, they're ridiculous. Like, the fact that this little thing can shoot almost 6K, 60 is absolutely absurd. Filmmaking tools just continue to blow my mind as everything gets smaller or stays the same size and the tech within them is like, if you think 10 years ago, this camera should have cost like $70,000. The entire experience using it is pretty good. When you're flipping through the menus, you're pulling them down, you're going side by side, sometimes it can be like a little slow. Not that it's like a, ever a problem where you're thinking, gee, I wish this GoPro wasn't as slow as it is, but there's a new chip inside it, which is making the entire experience faster. That's one of the things that GoPro is pretty pumped on this year. Powered by GP2. Let me give you what, what does GoPro say about it? The GP2 processor gives Hero 10 Black two times the performance of Hero 9 Black with double the frame rate, better than ever stabilization. With the time that I had, I didn't even get into taking photos with this thing, which I really want to do. I want to do a whole separate video on just shooting with the GoPro. And I've taken some photos with way old versions of GoPro and been absolutely shocked at how good those photos were. That's what kind of started getting me thinking on a different line, like, oh, maybe I'm missing something here. If you remember these shots underwater, I couldn't believe that was a cute 
Hero 6, I think. So now you're getting up to 23 megapixel photos on this. Like that's 20, 23 megapixels. Even from the high res video modes, you can pull 19 megapixel stills out of those, which is awesome. So they're really giving you a lot of flexibility as to like what you can do with the one thing. It's also the exact same footprint as the Hero 9. So we were able to just slide it into the FPV drone with no issues. Because I didn't get to use that super cool speedboat, I didn't get to test the new hydrophobic lens material. A lot of people know this. If you're gonna use a GoPro outside, in the water. Sometimes you gotta lick the screen ahead of time or put some kind of wax on it. I've even seen people like put ear wax on different types of, which is super gross, but I mean, I guess it works. But it's always gonna repel water off the front, but now there's a new coating on it that should repel the water for you. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. We've all been there. We've got great footage. You come back and right at the beginning, some water splashed, hit the lens and 80% of that coverage is now gone and you can see nothing. So that being eliminated it is stress eliminated when you're shooting things that matter when you don't want to miss a take, when you get back to the dock, when you get back to the car, the studio, wherever, your home, and you're reviewing footage, you're not like, what? What? And that was my problem with GoPros. I got back home, they never looked how I wanted them to look. The angle always got messed up somewhere, so I was just pointing at my crotch or my feet or up into the sky. Got water on the lens right away, got mud on the lens right away. It's the sound, indoors, low light, it just always seemed to suffer, but I feel like since those complaints, these cameras have gotten way, way better. So yeah, I guess you could say with the Hero 10, I am a fan. I still think the battery life could be improved. They're the exact same size batteries. You can use your old batteries from the Hero 9 in this. I just wish they lasted longer. Like you get going and you get them back, there's 20% left and they take so long to charge. I just wish, I mean, it's gotta be the same footprint so I guess they can't really change the size. I'm not an engineer. I have no idea how they make these things. I just wish this lasted longer. Even with this new Hero 10, I only had it one day but I did go through two batteries relatively quickly. I also had the camera on for several hours going nonstop at the highest resolution so it was due to a lot of use it's not a big negative at all it's just something that i think over time could be improved as well better battery life i think i'm most mind blown on the stabilization to have a camera this size that can go in your pack and stabilize something as rough as ripping this dirt bike through this track and it just is so buttery smooth like it, it legitimately is having the ability to shoot 240 at 2.7k 5k 60 5.7k 60 like those are just frame rates that are so so nice to be able to use there's a lot of versatility to work with also, you stick it on an FPV and it looks absolutely incredible. And then at the end of the day, Cole gave me this super cool jersey. He signed the back too. I'm hanging this in my garage, you know I am. Look at that. Ah. So, Cole, if you're watching this, thanks bro. Maybe one day in another life, I can dream to ride a dirt bike just 1% as good as you do. For now, I'll just stick to my little 110 pit bike because I'm not scared of it. So thank you GoPro for sending me this camera to review and thank you for the speedboat. You guys are very generous, especially after all of the shade I throw at you online in several videos. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I meant what I said in those videos, but this camera, I'm impressed and I am a fan. So thank you again. Uh, I had a lot of fun using it. And wow, we were actually able to get this done inside a day. That's pretty great. To everyone involved, thank you so much. Dude. Thank you, man. Thanks so much. That was, uh, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, I've been doing it for 20 years, so okay, I've learned a thing or two. That makes sense. Um, I hope the footage looks good. You made it look good. <laughs> My turn. You make me look good. Okay. Thank you. See you, buddy. So hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2021 20, style. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. Three uploads in one week. What? Pete, you're on fire. Ah. Tech season, folks. Can you see the bags under my eyes? <laughs> Bye.